Mark and Ellen, her teacher described her as saintly. She lived just about a block from her school here at Avenue, Aragon Avenue Elementary. Now teachers and community members are doing what they can to help her family and honor her life. At 10 years old, Alexa Alarcón faced more adversity than most her age, but her strong and noble spirit left a mark on her fifth grade teacher after just a few weeks. She had a brace on her leg. She had been hit by a car when she was three. And um, she never wanted to use the elevator. She never wanted any help. She never complained. On Saturday morning, Alexa was trapped in a house fire where she lived with her parents and siblings. Firefighters found her lifeless body. Her father was by her side all the time. I know that he was very severely injured because he tried to rescue her. He had gotten the other two children out through a window. He was trying to get back to Alexa. Jane DeHaven describes Alexa's father as hardworking and humble. What her parents are going through is almost too difficult to even fathom. To, for me to lose such a bright spirit in my life is very difficult. For them, it's going to be impossible. A GoFundMe account has raised more than $9,000. Compassionate and generous people offering donations and prayers. People want to step up. They want to say, you know, what can I do? And this is a great way to do it because they need everything. I mean, there is not something that they, they have nothing to fall back on, in other words. DeHaven is doing what she can to honor Alexa's everyday heroism. I did not realize that her potential was actually in becoming this bright spirit who's going to be looking over us. Um, I'd like to recognize her parents and um, their heroism in raising such a wonderful daughter. Now, Alexa's mother and younger siblings sustained minor injuries. Her father remains hospitalized, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.